Hey guys, I am weirdly excited today to show you my new favorite treat. And honestly, it's a little bit of a misnomer to call it a treat because it's so freaking healthy. So if you're new here, I am Jen. I am delighted to meet you. If you're not new here, you probably know that I have been on a strict carnivore diet for over a year and a half. Now, strict to me means animal foods only and also sometimes I had coffee. Okay, so animal foods, I had meat. I did have dairy from time to time. Sometimes I would take it out for months. Sometimes I'd add it back in. Um, I had seafood. I had, like I said, coffee, um, eggs. So just animal foods plus a little coffee. I basically didn't even have spices besides salt. So I would say I was pretty dang strict. Now I had a ton of benefits from doing that, but for a few various reasons that I've discussed before and I won't necessarily get into in this video, I have been adding a little bit of plant foods back in. And oh my gosh, you guys, I have discovered the holy grail of my diet. It is something I look forward to every day yet it's very filling. It doesn't make me crave more and more and more of it. I don't feel like I'm having any urges to binge on it. It's just so good. Now you're going to think this is a sponsored video. I promise you it's not. It's sponsored by my love for this food. And, um, I will put in the caption, the things that I use to make it in case you want to buy it, but no one is paying me to make this video. Okay. Uh, get ready. It is so good. Okay, so you see all the ingredients here. You may have an idea what's going on, but basically I'm just making a chocolate protein shake, but it turns out to be the most delicious chocolate ice cream shake. Ugh, I cannot wait to show you. So what I'm using is um, raw milk, which I get from a local farmer. If you can get your hands on it, oh my gosh, it is so good. And I feel like it is so healing for my gut for many reasons that I actually will make a video about. Um, what I'm noticing of why I feel like this is so healing for me and I will drink a cup of it every day if I can get my hands on it. And then I'm using this chocolate equip protein, which I used different protein powders in the past before I was carnivore and I never really liked any of them. They were either chalky or the flavor was weird or they were like $6 a serving or some ridiculous thing. This I'm telling you what it is so freaking good. It is sweetened with stevia, but all that's in it is grass-fed beef protein, cocoa powder, and stevia. And then here's the secret ingredient that I learned from Chris, who works for Equip. I'm gonna put in half an avocado. So this obviously is not carnivore, but like I said, I've been adding in some plants and this makes it so creamy and dreamy and delicious and you can't taste it at all. And I'm also trying to add a little bit of carbs to help stabilize my blood sugar. I've noticed I've been having some blood sugar issues. So at the end of this, I will share the macros for the shake for the ice cream, but I will also share with you exactly what happened with my blood sugar because you can't see it under my sweatshirt, but I have a continuous glucose monitor on, so I can show you that. And then we have some ice here. I don't know, maybe like 10 ice cubes. So here is what I do. Oh, and my Nutribullet. I suppose you could use a good blender as well but I'm gonna uh, measure out one cup of milk. This stuff, I swear to God, is liquid gold. So good. Now where I live, I, I get it from a farm. I have to drive about 45 minutes to go get it. And it's about $13 a gallon with tax, which is expensive, but worth every penny in my opinion. Okay, so one cup of cold milk, and then we're gonna do one scoop of the chocolate protein. And then here's my fun fact for the day as a physical therapist. When you're cutting an avocado, use a butter knife. Do not use a sharp knife because the flesh of the avocado is so soft, so malleable, you, the knife can so easily just go right through it. And so many people come in having sliced their thumb that they actually have a little slang term for it called avocado thumb. So you will never catch me cutting an avocado with a sharp knife. And I hope to say the same for you. So I'm just gonna get all this in here. Now, this is about two ounces of avocado, I know, because 
I've measured it out before. And then our ice. Now you can do it without the avocado. Um, it's still really good. It's just not quite as thick. It's more of a kind of a little bit of a liquidy milkshake. Still very tasty. That was the first way I ever tried it and I loved it. I actually messaged the equip person, Chris, because I loved it so much and she was like, you should try the avocado. <laughs> so that's how I got to know about it. So I'm gonna uh, mix this up here a little bit. And then I like to take it off and shake it a little bit because sometimes there will still be a little bit of ice chunks in there. And even when I'm done, sometimes there will be a little bit, but it's pretty smooth, you'll see. Based on that it had a little bit of difficulty mixing, I think I might have put a little too much ice, but trust me, it's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna pour it out for you right in front of the camera so you can see how thick and delicious it is. <laughs> I just choked on my own saliva. How thick and delicious it is. First of all, just look at the lid here. It's just, ugh, I look forward to licking it every time. And then I'm gonna just pour it right in. Actually, look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so creamy and delicious. Tell me you're not salivating right now. And I know it's so nerdy, I'm putting it in a wine glass. I'm at my boyfriend's house, so I don't have a lot of good <laughs> glasses that I like to use here. But also, I like it in here. It feels like such a decadent treat. I'm gonna see. Oopsie. Don't tell him that I spilled chocolate on his precious counter. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna scrape every last bit in here because it's so good I don't want to miss any of it. And then of course I've also gotta carefully lick this and not cut my tongue. I'll be right back. Now, you can drink this with a straw or just drink it right from the glass, but I like to eat it with a spoon. It feels like ice cream and more like I'm savoring it that way. You might be able to hear Lucy plodding in here with her claws. She's definitely interested in what's going on. Mm. So it tastes like the richest chocolate ice cream. It's The funny thing between my brain and my tongue is that this is kind of a light brown color which would indicate that it's not a super dark chocolatey flavor, but it tastes like a dark chocolate ice cream. So if somebody fed this to me with my eyes closed and I pictured what it would look like, in my brain, it would be this dark brown. And I don't know if it's the avocado. I think maybe, because I do think it's a little more rich um, flavored since I've started adding the avocado. But not only did I add the avocado for the thickness, because I was told that would help and it has, all right, I was just filming for you to tell you what happened with my blood sugar and then my phone ran out of storage. So the, the view, the angle might be a little different now. That explains why. But anyway, the first time I had this shake with just the protein and the milk, the um, raw milk, it did make my blood sugar go up from about, I wanna say it was like 75 to about 105, which isn't terrible, but it's a decent spike. And I've heard Dr. Annette Bosworth say before that because the protein is basically powderized, it can increase your blood pressure spike. And I think that's because you don't, it doesn't have to sit in your stomach and digest. It can pretty quickly into your bloodstream. And so it can raise your blood sugar quite a bit, even though there's really no, I don't think there's any carbs in this actually. Let's see, two grams of carbs. And there are some carbs in the milk, but, um, 
adding the avocado completely blunted that blood sugar spike. Now I'll share with you what it does to my blood sugar today. So I hope it doesn't do something that's counterintuitive to what I'm telling you right now. But the times that I've had this with the avocado, my blood sugar has only gone up maybe 15 points. So something like 70 to 85 or something like that. It keeps it very, very stable. So that's been really good uh, from the blood sugar standpoint and from the creaminess of the ice cream standpoint. So I'm gonna keep adding an avocado in there each time. Here comes Lissy. Can't see her, but you might hear her pause. Um, anyway, I love it. I'm gonna have this every day, maybe for the rest of my life. Uh, if you wanna try it, let me know how you like it. If you try it using a different protein or different combination of ingredients, let me know. I want to hear what I'm missing out on. But for now, I will just be looking forward to and loving this every dang day. It's now been two hours since I had the chocolate ice cream protein shake, and this is what happened to my blood sugar. You can see here that I started out at 73 and then the highest my blood sugar got up to was 82. So only a nine point increase. So this was a very simple video, just really quickly a treat that I like. If you like this kind of thing, let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can keep it up. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like, please follow me on Instagram. Uh, delighted to meet you and like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to get to know you more.